14, yet the average mannequin is a small four or six. So what we see in store windows really isn't a reflection of who all of us really are. So could something as simple as changing a mannequin make us change the way we feel about beauty and our own self-perception? Well, we were inspired to find out by a group in Switzerland called Pro Infirmis. They made a video of mannequins that went viral last year honoring people with disabilities. So with the help of Denver-based Fusion Mannequin Company, we found a group of volunteers who are hoping to help redefine beauty. So who is Donna Callahan? Donna Callahan is a very active um, female woman in a wheelchair. It's called transverse myelitis, and I got it when I was three. It's a virus that attacks the spine, and it left me with incomplete paralysis in the lower body. I've done the Boston Marathon three times. Also an adaptive skier, I mono ski. <laughs> I'm a small man. I'm a small artist. I am a father. I am a husband. I am three foot nine. I use little person. I use person of short stature. I use dwarfism. I am taller than my wife because she's shorter than I am. She calls me tall boy. myself as a Brazilian person, somebody that has been through a lot. How did you lose your legs? Tell me about that day. I was a paratrooper in the Army with the 173rd Airborne in Afghanistan in 2005, and the vehicle I was in hit a improvised explosive device. It blew up right underneath me. I have prosthetics, and you can still be an athlete. You still can have physical achievement regardless of what the situation is. Desiree Hunter is a funny, outgoing, gentle giant, athletic, likes to have fun. I'm like six, one and a half. I just knew I was always taller than everybody. I knew I had an advantage over everybody. I mean, I'm totally turned into a different person playing basketball. So who is Beth Ridgeway? I am a mother. A wife, um, an entrepreneur. Hopefully, I want to be an inspiration to my daughters. I've always been plus size. It's how I've always viewed myself. It's an emotional thing for you. It is. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Good. Nice. Let's just kind of have fun with it. Let's get back just a tiny bit. To create a mannequin that looks like you, what did you think about that? The first thing I thought of was, this is totally rare, no, but totally cool. Like, it's going to be a mannequin with myself. We're going to kind of live in this world right here. Everybody's pretty, is kind of self-conscious about what this mannequin is going to look like. I saw a bit of my crooked legs, the manner in which I stand. It's not like the beautiful mannequin pose. What does this mean for you to be part of this? I love the idea. It's about image and society. It's about all the times that I've walked through an airport with shorts on and, and, and get stares. What do you hope other people will see when they look at your mannequin? I hope they see the strength and the confidence that I bring to people with disabilities. Yeah, that does feel a lot better. I just hope she looks like a beautiful, strong, plus-sized woman. <laughs> at store mannequins, what do you see? I don't see me, um, that's for sure. Do you think this will be eye-opening to the public when they see the mannequins in the storefront? I hope it draws questions. I hope it engages people and that will bring more attention and awareness to body image as a whole in society. Getting to experience this with so many others who also have their differences. What do you hope their mannequins say to the world? You have, what, uh, about five different body types. Some of us are missing limbs. Some of us use wheelchairs. Some of us are quite short. Some of us are quite tall. Some of us are larger. We are not just conforming to the stereotypical body type. And that's what makes us who we are, and that makes us, our lives and our stories unique. Um, by being different. That no matter what size you are, you're so beautiful. Everybody's perfect the way they are. 
just be you and love yourself for who you are. Desiree and Beth to meet their mannequins, so to speak, here on the plaza. Nice to see you Hi. all. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Nervous about this at all? Yeah. Why? You've seen yourself in the mirror a hundred times. I'm a control freak, so to not know what's under here and to not know what she's wearing. Uh, Driving right, you crazy, ready? all right? Ready? That's and right. Ready? Ready? Okay, yeah. let me do the honors. <laughs> oh, there we go. She's good. What do you think? She's sporty, like you. She's sporty. Yeah, I like it. We can, uh, I'll work on my connections to get you guys a. A updated chair. Oh, but great. <laughs> well, right. great. Yeah, but she's great. I like it. Good. All right. Like Neil is next, and, and Savannah is about to do the honors. Are you ready? Neil, you ready? Neil? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. What do you think? Well, hopefully they got the abs ready. <laughs>